Hi, Andy Brower here. Welcome to my shop. I want to talk about guitar pickups today, talk about Les Paul conversions, and show you around uh, my office. So these are the raw vintage 64 pickups with the reverse wound. And that's the first guitar we're gonna to listen to today. That's a two position. This is a front pickup by itself. This is the middle pickup. This is the four position. And this is the back pickup. And it's a little device that I call the EP Booster, which I really like. And this is for a little bit of gain for the back pickup. Okay, uh, I want to do a comparison of some other pickups just to give you guys a flavor of what's out there. So we're going to switch to guitar A with very common widely used pickups, the industry standard generally, um, and these are very good, but the tonal difference is uh, interesting to note compared to the raw vintage. What I really look for is I look for something that's real authentic to vintage tone. I want something that's going to reproduce the quality and the mystique and the texture and I want the pickup to embrace you in the sense that it is warm and you feel it and you get chest punch and the highs chime. It's not cloudy in the mid-range. So this is guitar A. We'll start with the two position. Front pickup. Middle pickup. Four. Back pickup. EP booster. Differences I hear, a little crowded, a little cloudy, not as articulate, not as clear and chimey, and it doesn't lift my ass up as much. A um, little bit more sedated. So um, that's what I think of Guitar A. Guitar B is a what I consider a, a real good uh, modern vintage pickup. <clears throat> these are boutique, let's call these boutique beats. And uh, this is on a road worn that I've done my AB conversions to, which we'll get into more when we do some more pickup listening to. I'm using the exotic cable, which I really like. Think for the money, it's the best cable for the money. They sound really good, they're durable, roadworthy, and they have really good clarity. And that's what I look for in a cable is clarity. Um, I want to sound good and the clean and the overdrive. I want it not to be microphonic, and I don't want it to be cheap, bright, harsh. I want it to be fat, thick, have a good transparency, and uh, drive well and not take away from my drive but give me the sustain and the singing tones that I'm looking for. This is a uh, guitar beat boutique pickups.
Two, this is one position. This is the middle pickup. This is the four position. This is the back pickup, which has a base plate on the back bottom, like a Telecaster, which I actually like very much. A little, a little twangy, but with the EP booster, it kind of rocks nice. is great because it takes your initial tone and kicks it up and it fattens up the mid-range um, like an old tube echoplex really Jimmy Page type tones as you just heard um, hard to find a box that will give you a gain boost without adding a lot of noise an EP booster really gives you fat gain without signal to noise ratio hiss or hum and the quality of exotic pedals is, in my opinion, the best. So their signal-to-noise ratio is great. So it's money well invested, great little pedals, and uh, tone is fantastic. And um, I love it. I love it. I think it's killer.